Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to talk about the Inflection DE foam kit to haul around your reloaded ammunition or your factory ammunition and basically the coolest way to carry your ammo up to the firing line. So this kit was put together by Inflection Design and Engineering, which is Inflection DE. So what I've got here is a Pelican 1200 case. And inside, what they sell are these foam kits that control and take care of your precision ammo. These things are wicked cool. Like, just for pure roll up to the firing line next to your buddies and you will have the coolest way to carry your ammo. I mean, obviously, typically people carry their ammo in these plastic reloading boxes, which are great. Those are just fine, but it's definitely a cut above. Especially when you get into the oddball calibers that are really long with big heavy bullets hanging out of the end. Um, for example, I've got one right here. Let's take a look at this thing. So the longest cartridge I've gotten here is a 375 Remington Ultra Mag. This thing's got a 400 grain solid bullet in here. So let's take an overall length measurement of just how monstrous this thing is. This is 4.192 inches, so basically a 4.2 overall length. Although I think this is about max of what you could stuff into this Pelican case. Their, they, their foam kits do work with the deeper cases, so if you need longer cases than this, like for maybe a 375 Shaytac, um, you can definitely just get the taller box and it will work with their foam kits. Really awesome. So let's take a look at some of the other popular cartridges I've got in here. Um, I made some dummy rounds with all of Atlas Development Group's uh, line and I just stuffed some bullets in them seated really far out. So right here we've got a 338 Remington Ultra Mag. This has got a 285 ELD loaded way stretched out. This is a 3.9 inch overall length. Fits in there no problem. And then as well as the like the circumference of the rounds, this is the Magnum kit. They also have a standard kit that you can get. Um, they recommend like the standard for 223, 65 Grendel, and 224 Valkyrie, which I've got stuffed way down in here. Um, they do wiggle around just a bit. Um, obviously, it's still protected, and it's not a bad way to carry your ammo. But uh, you probably would want to get a standard kit if that's all you're going to be carrying. Is to go with the smaller cutouts in the foam here. My intention is to carry my 7mm Remington Short Action Ultra Mag, which is one of these guys here. So a little short action cartridge. My overall length on this one right here is 3.06, and it holds it just fine. You can even see that it sinks like way down into the foam if I need it to. You can also flip these over. After you fired your round, you just want to keep the brass protected, throw it right back in your case. It also has A, B, C, D, E, and numbers 1 through 10 to keep track of all your ammo if you're keeping track of where your reloading goes according to those numbers. A couple other rounds we've got in here. We've got a 300 Remington Ultra Mag with a solid bullet in here. This is a 200 grain solid bullet and this bullet is a monster and I've seeded it way out and this one has got a 4.13 overall length so your long cartridges are going to fit as well as your fat cartridges like this 338 Lapua Magnum. No problem, drops down in here, fits snug, not an issue. This is a 285 grain ELD and this 338 is 3.870. These aren't supposed to be like realistic overall lengths, I just made some dummy rounds so they could look cool sitting on my reloading bench. Um, what else have we got here? A 338 Edge loaded out long. This one's a little bit longer than the Lapua, 4.01, but again, fits great in this case. Um, the metal is glued to the foam, and speaking of the foam, there actually are a few extra pieces. So this one is a thicker piece that's included, and then they give you two of these thin pieces of foam. I've got one underneath the kit, so the uh, heads of the cases are sitting against foam, and then up top, they're sitting against foam when it's closed up. So that's the Inflection DE kit, really cool. Please check out the links in the description. Um, I know that Justin Heyer from Long Range Only is involved with this company. Uh, Justin's a really bright guy, he makes up quite a few cool designs. He's got a, a medium length magazine that he's working on that's really awesome as well. I'll get a video up on that soon. 
cool part about these kits is that they couldn't be simpler to set up. Like I say, you got your bottom layer of foam, choose which thickness you want. And then my bullets are about to fall out of the bottom of this thing. So let's try and not do that. Grab it, throw it in your case. You're off to the range. And they're just starting up, so be sure to grab one while you can and help start their company and get it off the ground. So thanks for watching guys. We will catch you next time.